Hello everyone, so I am the chocolate and God is the thunder. Because of that, I'll never go under. I'm about to get on you up northerners. You New Yorkers come into North Carolina and you don't have enough money. I'm about to get on y'all. Stop coming down here like that. Because you know what? If you do that, you're going to put yourself in a very bad situation. Don't come down to North Carolina if your bank account don't have at least three grand in it. You need at least $3,000 in it. And you know what? That's only if you have maybe one child. I, I know some people know how to make money stretch and all of that. But I'm going to tell y'all right now, even to get a nice place in North Carolina. Power off. Oh, wait a minute. Uh-uh. There ain't going to be no power off. Hold on. I'll put my mic back on. Wait. Hold on. Power on. Okay. Bluetooth mode. There we go. Okay. Okay. We're back. Anyway. And that's with one child. If you want to live in a decent part of North Carolina, if you have more than one child, eh, I guess 3000 could do, especially if you're in the process of getting a job. But don't be coming down here with no money in your bank account because that's just not going to work. And you need a car in North Carolina. You need a car. If you're on a bus route directly, that's one thing. Certain parts of North Carolina, yes, they have made it where... The bus route is there. They have made it where um, sometimes certain jobs are on the bus route. So if you, you know, you're just going to have to do your research. But for the most part, you need a car in North Carolina. And I'm going to tell you right now, people is not going to be driving you all over the place. Take it from somebody who knows. When I came down to North Carolina 12 years ago, I came down all wrong. I came down all wrong. I think I had like two grand in my bank account. Um, yeah, I came down wrong. Instead of coming down strong, I came down wrong. Uh, my children at the time, they were young. They were both under 10 years old. And I came down wrong. I really did. I really truthfully and honestly did. So... I want, I don't want someone else to do that same thing. Don't go by what people say, y'all. You know, you have people down in the South that'll tell you, come on down here. It's cheaper, this and that and that and this. And yes, the rent and mortgage is cheaper. That's true. But what you don't pay for in rent and mortgage, you're going to pay for it in groceries. You're going to pay for it in a car. You're going to pay for it in car insurance. So, it's pretty much the same thing. And there was a time where you could come to North Carolina, like when I came down 12 years ago, there was a time you can come to North Carolina and get an apartment for under $1,000 a month. Nowadays, uh-uh. Even some of the hood apartments, they want over $1,000. I'm telling y'all the truth. I'm telling you the truth. And when it comes to a job, now, if you're working for a company and they transfer you down here, that's a little different. But you need to have, if, if that's not your situation, you need to have some type of trade or something. You need to have some type of trade. Like me, I may not have a college degree, and I'm not bragging about that because I wish I did have a college degree. All them 12 years I've been down here, I should have took my behind right to college and got my degree. Because when you have a college degree, you make more money. That's a $20,000 increase alone. You, 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 you can demand more when you have an education. You can demand more when you have a college education. It is what it is. Unless, of course, you're an entrepreneur. That's different. But if you're an employee, if you have a college degree, to, to put it like this. I've been doing my profession like 20 years. And yes, I'm licensed in it. But baby, if I had my college degree... My goodness. Okay, let's go back to the story. Excuse me. Back to the situation. Yeah, you need to, unless you know somebody, you need to, if you don't know somebody when it comes to getting jobs and you want a good, you you need to be making at least 35 to live kind of decent. And that's a kind of, kind of decent. I can't say what part of North Carolina I do live in because I'm just not going to do that. But from where I live at, you need to be making upper 30s, not even lower 30s. Nope, you need to be making upper 30s to have a kind of decent, you know, kind of decent. 
You know, you still might be struggling a little bit, but you ain't going to be struggling as much. If you, I don't want to discourage nobody from making a positive move in their life. I just want you to do it the right way. Do it the right way. Even if you might have to wait until maybe you get your income taxes or something and you have a lot of savings, then do it. But don't come down here broke. Even if you have supportive family, so don't come down here and you don't come down here and your bank account is under three grand. Because even with supportive family, guess what? They might get tired of you. <laughs> they might get tired of you and you won't have to look for your own place and do your own thing. That's just how life goes. It goes the way it goes. It goes the way it goes. As far as the schooling, I, I, I like the schooling down here. My children have been in elementary school down here, middle school down here, um, high school. My children are 15 months apart, so they pretty much go to the same school. They've been going to the same schools their whole lives. So, and that's, that's the God's honest truth, even daycare. And that's another thing I want to tell y'all. If you are getting daycare up in New York, don't think that it just transfers down here. No, it doesn't. No, and if anybody tell y'all that, they lying. It does not just transfer. That's not the way it goes. It's a different state. Stuff like that, like daycare services stuff, and I'm saying those that get in the, um, help with daycare, it don't just transfer from state to state. It sure didn't transfer, transfer from New York to North Carolina when my children was getting help with daycare. I had to reapply all the way in North Carolina. I sure did. I had to reapply. That's another thing. You just have to really count up the course. You have to count up the course. Don't be hasty in your decisions. Yes, this place is growing like crazy. It's growing. There's a lot of businesses open. And every time you turn around, I mean, it's just phenomenal. 12 years ago, it used to be dirt roads. Now, it's big stores like and when I say big stores, I mean huge stores and banks and all of this other stuff. So it's definitely growing leaps and bounds, leaps and bounds. But you still got to come down the right way, especially if you have children. You have to come down the right way. And it's not a bad place. You just have to make sure you have a plan. That's all. That's what you have to do. That's the truth. I wish I found a video like this when I came down because I would have redid my steps. I would have said, you know what? Let me wait. Let me wait a little bit before I go jump in the gun because I jumped too quick. And I didn't really have a reason to leave New York. I had a, a My landlord was really nice. I mean, I was paying $1,200 a month in a basement apartment, but... No, and it wasn't even 12, it was 11. It was nice though, it had ceramic floors. It was beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful. God, that was a beautiful place. It had a lovely landlord and everything. I just was so hasty. I had a, I had a decent job. I definitely had a decent job um, in New York. We was making it, you know, we was making it, but I thought that, okay, well, let me make moves. Family is down here and this and that. And, um, yeah, so I just didn't do it the right way. So I don't want y'all to do it the right way, especially single mothers. I don't want y'all to do it the wrong way. I want y'all to do it the right way. You see what I'm saying? And I was told that, you know, coming down here without a man, that's not the best plan. I'm going to have to say I disagree because I was able to maintain my place. And